So we can boot into Ubuntu or Windows. I'll just boot into Windows. And uh, we've got another bootloader. Ah, to make totally sure where we are uh, starting from. I like use this pre installation thing. And then, the whole ins then install the whole Ubuntu. So I've got two bootloaders, which is stupid. But yeah. <laughs> so that thing is slow. As you can see, it's taking forever to boot up here. Full operating system, but Pentium 4s, they're slow. They're cool, but they're slow. They're really slow. And, uh, they're not really, if you don't really have a lot of RAM and a fast hard drive, they're not really anything for Windows XP. Well, there's this Extreme Edition, which does it a lot better. So I've played around with some custom themes here, as you can see. But I'll just set a different desktop because you can't see anything. It's not good. So maybe it's better then. Actually, setting this to best performance and setting, uh, do, do a little CC cleaner on this or C cleaner or whatever they call it. C cleaner, okay. Does help this old computer still to be a little fast. But I've got a lot of stuff installed on here. Um, like a friend of me and me, we, we set that up and he installed like every shitload of software I had, like library office and notepad and, and a, lot of, a lot of programs like office is on here. Let's do that here. It's not too slow though, it's, it's responsive, you know. There we go, Word 2003, which hasn't got any problems, but uh, crap office does. Um... So, uh, it does always say found to have a multimedia audio controller, <laughs> but uh, it just doesn't play any sound. I, I try to install a driver again, it just doesn't play any sound. And that is really annoying to don't have sound on here on Windows. First I thought it's broken, but then it showed up with audio control and was like, oh no, driver. So... <laughs> Like Steam and all the background processors are like killing it. So we'll just go to, uh, shut up here. Well, just try to install it, will fail anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, we've got here 504 mags of RAM. Whoa. Um, please. New hover is installed. Are you kidding me? Huh. Uh, no, we're gonna reboot that later. So as you can see, Library Office has its problems with custom themes. But it has problems like incredible lot of pro blah, incredible what problems this thing has. Uh, yeah, uh, there's like a lot of stuff on here. I actually installed Visual Basic 25 just for fun. And it does run pretty good. Um, what well, means I can finally develop without getting crazy 498, 2000, and ME, plus XP, Vista, and 7. And 2010, you just had, uh, what, what do you have? XP is 280, I believe, but you can, like, run, uh, if you have, like, professional, you can, like, run, uh, for the older visuals. But, you know, it's slow on here, but it does run pretty good. Uh, yeah. So iTunes, you know, the latest software on here is always a problem. Uh, I like, like have Opera, but every time I like start this browser, and Windows has that thing, or any other browser, and Internet Explorer does that. Uh, if you have like, yeah, see, that C must better. You have to make sure that the time is right and the date is right, because then they're just gonna say this. Wait, what? Did that just work? Oh, it does work again. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course, then it works. <laughs> but Internet Explorer usually don't da do that. It Like, every other browser, like Firefox and so, says, this connection is not trusted just because the CMOS battery is dead. And that's why it doesn't work. So, I've got here this nice program to slow down the annoying fan. So, we'll do that. And. Ah. Uh, that's nice. So, what do else I have on here? My Foxit Reader. It's like a perfect machine to test Base EA on it. We've got like a whole account for it. Just 
shut this down. Ah, uh, no, shut this down. Just log off here. Wait. And I just. And here, we've got an old account for BCA, which is awesome, as you can see. We've got here 1.51 and 2.0 beta 2. If you don't know what that is, that's our own little creation of operating system. Only does run on Windows, but if you have like an emulator for Linux, you can run it there. And it's based on .NET framework. It's like a little play operating system, toy operating system. And yeah. Please start now. <laughs> All these updates like slow it down incredibly. So here's a little preview. Exclusive preview of Base EA. He had information about my PC, so I'm not gonna show any more here. Uh let's see. Ooh. Is that not here? It's here, you dumbass. <laughs> I don't get that. Just try this. Hmm, interesting. Really interesting. As you can see, maybe it's just because I'm setting up this right now. As you can see, I, I recently deleted the folder which has all the preferences in it because it was just showing an error when launching on any on any user. So just did that on the admin account, and it just broke then. So let's try it now. No, doesn't want to. Okay, forget it. Forget it. So that's a, a little. Uh, um, thing on Windows, but Windows is not exciting, so we'll just go shut down and reboot this. Where is it? Oh, we are now booting into the Linux partition. Ubuntu. The fan is still quiet, which is nice. <laughs> So I hope you guys hear Bone 2. Bone 2. Like this camera hates like these contrasts. So type in my password. And on Ubuntu the sound works just fine. If I didn't mention that you can hear it now. <laughs> it's interesting what differences between Windows and Linux are. Incredibly. Uh I I wanted to run a different one on here, like Arch Linux, but then I failed on installing that. <laughs> uh, totally incredibly hard to install. Because it's lightweight and stuff, but uh, I just failed installing it. just didn't know how to do that. So, yeah, as you can see, it's loading all the stuff pretty slow. But that's fine, you know. You know, you must, you must, you know, you must... You know, you must, you know, you must think that this computer is like a 2003 to 2000, 2002 to 3 or so computer running an up-to-date system. I know there's 12 out there, but that's not really necessarily a difference between these two. So, you know, it's like uh, Ubuntu 11.10, Pentium 4, 32-bit. Graphic is not recognized, but everything is fine and there is see-through, so it's installed. And yeah, I've got VLC on here, like I have on Windows. Uh, you know, just to play files. Which take far to load. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there you go, window, ah, Windows, VLC Media Player. Then we've got this nice program we use in school too. It's like the question mark here, I don't understand that. It's called... Geo Chabra, I don't know how to say that. Geo Gebra, it means on German. But I just say that Geo Gebra, dynamic mathematics for everyone. As much as I hate maths, this is like a nice program to test this on. Um, so, let's go here. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Let's just do some stupid functions here. Come on. Not responsive. Now it's going okay. 
doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Yeah, so now we'll do uh, Uh, how can I do this on here? Forget it. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't even show up here. All right, yeah, that takes long. So let's see if we can get that full. Like a big thing. So, yeah, as you can see, there are its limits. It's not really for graphic intensive stuff anymore. It was definitely 23 or so when this is made, but not anymore. So, you can, I believe, like make two, one to two, and, uh, uh, just close this here. This is taking uh ah oh, it's stuck already code. Okay. Nah. Please. Doesn't do anything. No, no, it's doing. Please. What is whoa, I wanna do something else on here too. I don't just wanna wait for you to load here. You know, I, I told you it's slow, it's... Okay, I just didn't care anymore, I just reset this thing and then it booted up. Uh, I just installed a Flash plugin and see how this runs with this stupid video here. Goats yelling like humans. <laughs> now let's see how it does on... Uh, Now full screen, of course. And you can hear the sound. Ouch. That's 360p, guys. I just like to remember that. Let's do not. Well, it's fine. On non full screen. Let's see how it does here. Still fine. <laughs> so. No, not three. No, 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 no. Get 3D. Let's do it 240p. In full screen, see if it works. This footage is so crappy, you can't tell that right now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, 240p. I can see the sound works, let's get out of this shit here. <laughs> so, there you go, that is my Pinium 4 PC. Running fine, Ubuntu and Windows XP, not fast, uh, but it's okay, you know. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.